Leah with Enlightened Mystic Essentials. And today we are going to see what you need to do to heal yourself, whether it be present self or past life self counsel. Right? So let's see, Spirit for Councils. What are the messages or focal points for healing themselves in the month of June? All right? Let's see what you need to heal. So, you know, council. Your first one is out. June is a month of balance, right? Stabilization, harmony. Mm -hmm. It's also a month of grounding and graduation. Graduation talks about the stepping up and stepping out, right? So it is a pull for you to step up, come out of your comfort zones and move forward, whether it be a small communication, slight communication, right? Because understanding is needed for cancer or from cancer towards a person or a situation is mine, right? So your first message here is uh, soulmates, a card of five, change. Yeah, spiritual self, physical. Mm -hmm. spiritual physical change so addressing the issue to a soulmate towards a soulmate i said step up spirit another focal point or message for counsel when i said that counsel, wait are you teachable mm. are you gonna come out that shell counsel or are you gonna stay uh tuck the way are you teachable and then the thing is you are highlighted here in two feminine energies even though it's a masculine energy here in the physical is the feminine. The masculine is in the spiritual mm -hmm. feminine energy. Are you teachable? What are you not seeing? What are you lacking? See that? So be careful, right? Changes, right? So spirit, what is the energy for soulmate for counsel? You are the first sign to have soulmate counsel. Daughter spirit, baby, all day, every day. Mm -hmm. Thor spirit, you are getting ready to get hit with the truth because the bird representing communication, purity and clarity of communication, white bird coming out the door of illumination, getting ready to get hit with the truth. And isn't that funny how this is a card of five soulmate, five daughter spirit, five changes within a change represents one you, one thought, one journey counsel. Get ready. Spirit, are you teachable for counsel? What is the energy here? Mm, no wonder. No one. Indecision. Can't make up my mind. Should I go left? Should I go right? Do I move forward? Do I stay stuck? See? Do I come out my shell or do I stay tucked away? Come on. Do I come upon the land or do I stay in the water? Yeah. So let's go to this night wisdom. And see what surrounds your soulmate and your daughter spirit. First message, I, what needs to be healed. Spirit for counsel, soulmate and daughter spirit. What surrounds the changes of the soulmate? Dang, directly on top of soulmate towards this door. Look, on the soulmate, right? Towards the daughter spirit, right? On top of the soulmate, see? Right? Mm-hmm. You have strength, baby. <laughs> strength. Standing strong. And this is a card of eight. So the strength is in the middle of two fives. So either way you sway, <laughs> changes, baby. Whether it's you changing, right, or answering the call in a soulmate situation. Because, see, like I said, feminine energy is wounded. Not accepting, right? That spiritual pull. You see that full moon? Towards the soulmate, right? Not recognizing uh, that the spiritual is there for you, right? Mm -hmm. Or the truth that you're going to get hit with. Either way it goes. The, the, the bird flies towards the shrimp and you face the shrimp in your weakest energy, right? Look. Towards strength and that bird 
flying straight towards strength. Strength. Needing to have strength to connect, to recognize, to see, to hear, to know. See that? Soulmates. Some of you may be uh, just finding out that you're on the twin flame journey. Now it is upon your strength. You go to the door of the spirit to get hit with the truth pertaining to the twin flame or soulmate journey. Whether it be, you know, um, truth about a relationship, you keep wanting to turn your head from it. Mm -hmm. Whether it be spirit saying, you know, you need to change a relationship connection, right? And face the strength, right? Of the spiritual pull. See that? Boom. It's a lot, but it's okay. So let's look at this strength. Or should we look at the soulmate? Let's look at the soulmate. Hmm. Spirit for cancer. Clarify soulmate. Changes are either occurring. Changes are uh, being answered. Because the full moon is like standing out to me. Some of you are getting ready to face up to a connection. Cancel. Spirit clarify soulmate for cancel. <laughs> Taking action. Strong action at that. That action, passion, drive. And look at the divines. Look at the blue beetle coming over there. Take action. Move forward. Look. Boom. <laughs> Strength, baby. And then it's funny because strength is what backs the masculine energy of that action towards, uh, yeah, soulmate. I told you getting ready to answer that call. Spirit kept saying, look at the full moon. Look at the full moon. And then the thing about the full moon, at one point in time, it was covered in clouds. But do you see the clouds dispersing? That pool is getting strong. Spirit clarify, king of staff or council choices options decision you might as well choose to be strong seven of cups towards strength just like that choose to be choose strength go with your greatest pull <laughs> telling you seven of cups options baby that pull right don't be distracted mm -mm, ain't no distraction the moon the, the the moon pulls the water water sign council mm -hmm. the moon governs our uh waves and our flow of direction right the moon talks about the water right when you speak moon you speak uh intuition mm -hmm. you speak spiritual pools but it's all about uh you know life cycles the moon governs the water you're going to your spiritual pool uh council i'm telling you i'm a water sign too i'm telling you seven of cups Coming out of the water towards the cups. What is the cups? Emotions. I think it's a game. And it's pointing towards strength. Spirit clarify seven of cups for counsel. Uh-huh. Resistance of a heartbreak. You stay stuck. You resist that heartbreak. But once again, what is in the three of swords? Water. <laughs> you going to answer the call. When you speak the three of swords, what is the three of swords? Water or the rain is coming down, washing away that heartbreak because cancer was unprotected. Your shield was down, but you sit in a pool of water. What is the water? Emotions, a cleansing factor in the rejuvenation of life. And with the moon spiritual pool, intuition. You feel it. You feel the pool. I'm telling you because I know I feel the pool. You feel the pull with the soulmate. Things are starting to change. They're starting to be a rumble in the sky. You don't hear? It's coming. Stop resisting. The more you resist the divine flow, the more you're going to suffer. I keep telling you. Spirit clarify, knight of swords towards the three of swords, right? And then it's funny because the, one, the knight of swords with the three of swords makes the four of swords recovery baby look the ace of cups what is being recovered that divine love y'all think it's a game the knight of swords one sword right ace of swords right 
with the three of swords make the four of swords. What is the four of swords? Recovery towards divine love. Mm -hmm. Unconditional love. Yeah. I know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I know what I'm talking about. Cancer. You can be, you know, I ain't even going to, I ain't going to give y'all too much. Let's look under the bottom of the deck because I want to so bad. King of Swords is here. Someone who has their mental solid and made up. The Queen of uh, Coins is here, right? Towards the Ace of Staff. New journey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Someone, uh, they're telling you I'm no longer injured in my mental, but I see the end of a cycle coming. Don't forget, a change is coming. Soulmates is a card of five. They just said end of a cycle. Uh, four, four coins. What was being held back? Somebody was walk, trying to walk away. They were trying. I was trying. And justice came in here and was served towards the balance six of coin. What? When I say it's getting real over here in this battlefield, completion world. Someone is receiving an offer. Yeah, page of coin towards a new beginning. Fool. I know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I know what I'm talking about. Listen. So someone has their mind made up. Yeah. What is this? I, I, I'm strong on my mental. My mental is on point. I say what I mean. I mean what I say. I call the shots. What are you calling shots upon? The queen of coin. And because we're talking energy, we're talking a queen of coin or a feminine energy that has been wounded by value, right? Whether it be they don't see their self-worth, well, no one wants to be with me, so I guess I'm just not good enough. Look, feminine, masculine, strong mental, spiritual realm, physical, weak, no value, change, switch, switch, right? Final, a strong mental towards a wounding of a queen of coins, someone who doesn't see their body. About what, though? Going on a new journey. Ace of staff. And then being the weak energy that you are not seeing the value. You cannot see value, but you're telling us, I see the end coming. See that? I see the end coming where you have a queen of swords. This is someone who is not injured in their mental, but they have a weak stance. See that? What is making you weak? The end of a cycle is coming. The end of a cycle is coming. See that? The ending of a mental wounding. They see it. Mm -hmm. Right? And they tell us that the end was being held back. It was being drawn out. Why? Because strength had to be found. Uh -huh. Or the door the spirit had to hit you with truth. Boom. See that? Mm -hmm. So when they talk about the end was holding back. What literally was being held back? Somebody was holding back, walking away. See that? Walking away. And then the thing about the four coins, surrounded in swords. Look, in the cycle, or just walk away, or be by myself, lead the indecision of the people behind. I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh, wrestling with it in your mental and not being solid, right? No movement, no movement, no movement to one day, you know what, I can't take it anymore, bye, I gotta go, I gotta go, and when they say, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go, I, gotta go. I can't stay, what happens, justice come up in here, boom, justice is also represented as what, the door to spirit, some people have sought out a spiritual realm, yeah, a spiritual way to come in here and help solve a problem, so when justice comes in after someone walks away, what happens? A balance, is, it, it comes. And they say the balance, yeah, balance is here. And it is over with. That's the end of that. That is the end of that. Now that you have completed your mission, uh-huh, or you have left that situation, what comes in now? Oh, it's time for you to receive a new beginning. Because for every end, mm -hmm. isn't there a beginning? For every end of a cycle. See that? Or a change of a relationship, soulmate, situationship, 
end, it ends, right? Ends, look, it ends, 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 ends. Justice comes in, do, 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 do. The brain fall off that balance, yeah. And what happens? They give you an offering of what? A new beginning. See that counsel? Boom. So when they talk about the change of a relationship, you may be ending a karmic, uh-huh, to find your soulmate. You'll be, you may be ending a karmic to go towards a spiritual connection. Because don't forget the moon showed up, baby. Physical and spiritual. The yin and the yang. The up and the down. The light and the dark. They keep saying you must have, you must find your strength to be hit with the truth from the door. Changes are coming. And you're getting ready to take action towards that spiritual pull. Yeah, I'm telling you. Mm. Somebody finna get hit with some news. Somebody, I, I they finna be hard broke. But at the end of the day, counsel, you know, I ain't going out here and telling you to break up with everybody. But at the end of the day, baby, spiritual always wins. You know why? Because you're a spiritual being in a physical body. <laughs> Answer the call. Don't go against the currency or the flow of heavens. Divines. Because you don't want to have to go, you know, travel in your own way every day, you know, going against the divines. Because when you don't answer the call, you go against the divines. And in that, look, move forward. Look, that's, look, move forward. Look at the messages. They falling out. Move forward is, is your destiny. Move forward. They saying, let it go. Um, Get it made up in your mind to let it go. Because, see, as you travel and you keep going and resisting the grain of the divines, you start to lose. You may lose your home, a car, a job. Who has time for that? You're going to get so to the point where you're going to be praying and hoping and wishing that the tower come in here, fix this, shake it up. I can't do it. Stop going against the green. Changes are coming. Yeah. When you get that little pull and that little intuition, go off. Come out that shell and do what you got to do, babe. Let's go. Now they're asking you how teachable are you. Look. How teachable are you, cancer? Still coming in as a feminine energy, right? Because you stuck on an indecision. I don't know. Should I listen to Leah? Should I go? Should I stay? Would I, should I go left? Should I go right? Spirit, what surrounds counselors and know how teachable are they to this indecision? What must you learn? What must you see? How must you act? What must you feel? Grounded, because it's on the ground. The grounding up, look, the high priestess of air, rational thought, logic. Mm. So, what do you have? How teachable are you or is coming in at a nine? What is the nine? The divines, right? Calling for your attention to a person, which is counsel. How teachable are you in a situation? The indecision of being stuck. But you have the opportunity to change it because the indecision comes in as an eight. What is eight calling for a spirit to a situation or a person, right? That's the action calling forth spirit, right? To help you with this indecision, spiritual rebirths and rejuvenations, also known as transformation. And then they say you must balance out your logic. That's a card of six. The high priestess of air is a card of six, right? So how teachable are you towards the indecision, right? It's also an eight. Together they made the eight calling for a spirit to a situation or a person, spiritual rebirths and rejuvenations, also known as transformations. So you can balance out that logic. I'm telling you, get your mind right, literally. So spirit, what surrounds the indecision for camp, sir? What must they know, feel, hear? And make understood about this indecision. Two. Two. One face up, one face down. Ooh. One face up, one face down. The one that's face up is what? Beauty. You must see the beauty in all things, baby. Yeah. And know that for when the divines are in here, it's always for your good, right? Mm -hmm. And the one that you don't see, don't feel, don't hear, may not understand, it still involves a risk. Let your mind tell it. Risk. But isn't it funny, right? How risk is going away from the beauty? Look at it. 
taking a risk away from things that are beautiful and great? Are you serious? Indecision. That is your indecision. And guess what? Both of them are four. What are the fours? Oh, my God. The most injuring and damaging numbers out on the boards at this time, Council, are the twos and the fours. What are the fours? The four talks about what needs to be grounded, stabilized, right? Brought down, settled down, calm down, accepted. What needs to be buried, rejected, ended? Uh-huh. Yeah. What is going on in the foundation of a situation or within a structure? Structure of a home, structure of a building, foundation with you, foundation of you. Which will you accept and which will you deny? See that? And then together, they make the eight spiritual rebirths and rejuvenations, also known as transformations, calling for a spirit to a situation. Yeah. So what are you going to do? How teachable are you, counsel? That's what they want to know. They're asking, your, they're asking you. Here, the feminine energy wears white, the purification, mm -hmm. yeah, purification. But next to that feminine energy is a violin. What have you been listening to? What has been sweet to your ears? Either you're going to agree with it or you're not, plain and simple, right? Because you have hit a fork in the road. The indecision. And because you're cloaked in red, it talks about being loved one way or being defeated in the other. Which will you accept? accept? The defeat of the risks or the acceptance of love? Your decision. Your decision. Right? But at the end of it all, they keep saying, Cancer, you must get your mind right. Bring it into a balance right now. Rational thoughts. Mm -hmm. Once you get your mind right, there's no indecision. There's no risk. And that only leaves beauty. Mm -hmm. And what lesson did you learn? See that? Boom. What lesson did you learn? What are you listening to? What are you listening to? So let's look at your... A priestess of air, of course. Yeah. What you need to see, understand, make understood, learn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A priestess of air. How teachable are you towards your thoughts, towards your mental? Some of you aren't going to get it. It's going to stay stuck. Should I go left? Should I go right? I don't know. And some of you are going to say, you know what? Leah, right. I got to get my mind in, in check. Because these two together make the six. What is the six? The balance. Listening to your mind. And then together these, the indecision and how teachable are you? Mm -hmm. Make the eight. Calling for a spirit. I need help. See that? Help me. I'm stuck. So let's look at this high priestess of L. Mm -hmm. Get your mind right, baby. Getting your mind right. My priestess of air. Getting your mind right. Balance. Spirit, clarify high priestess of air for cancer. You have a few. Look. Four coins. See that? Right? Towards the hangman. Get your mind right, baby. Strength is here. Mm-hmm. As you journey, hermit. Mm-hmm. And the chariot. Mm -hmm. High priestess. Let me tell you something. Council. You have five majors. When I say. You getting ready to go through changes. You getting ready to go through changes. I'm telling you. Major changes. Right. Anyway. What was being held back. Mm -hmm. What wasn't being let in. Or what wasn't being let out? See that? What was being held back? Can't see the block that uh 
hangman, new perspective. I couldn't see, Leah. I was indecisive. Mm -hmm. See that? Couldn't see. I didn't see the risk or the beauty. Mm -hmm. See that? Not sure. Right? Now they say strength towards the hermit. Strength towards the one who journeys alone towards the light. See that? What is the light? The light of the moon is coming in quickly towards the hermit. High priestess. Moon energy. Keep telling you. Moon. Mm -hmm. Moon energy. What is the moon? Intuition. Emotions. Life. Life cycle. Life rejuvenation. Right? But also, moon represents that... Uh, Reflection, deception. Reflection, deception. Holding back. Holding back a new perspective of strength coming in. Holding it back. Can't see. I can't make up my mind. I don't know. So you say, you know what? I got to set off on a journey. I got to set off on a journey, right? Towards the illuminary or facing the facts of the emotions, right? Right? Facing my emotions. Going with my feelings, right? Going with my feelings. Spirit clarified the four of coin. Why is the four of coin here? What was the reason holding back of the uh mental perspective? Yeah, the clarity, right? Strength, right? What? Why? Seven of swords. You either face the heartbreak, right? Three of three of swords, and had a plan of recovery in your mental. You had to take the risk first. Three of swords. See that? And you had to have a plan of recovery of the beauty in your mental. Right? I just had to figure it out. Leo, I just had to figure it all out. Right? I had to figure it all out. Right? Mm hmm Right? I had to figure it all out. That's why I had to take my time. I was holding back. I had to figure it all out. See that? Everybody. This one and this one, right? What are you? What are you? What are you going towards? What are you looking at? What are you? What was? What? What? Oh, the view, baby. The view, hangman. The perspective was being held back because I had to figure out my risks, my downfalls, and I had to get back to that bounce back beauty. See that? Let's go underneath the deck, baby. Let's go underneath the deck. The empress is here. Page of Swords is here. Mm -hmm. Queen of Style was here. Yeah. Towards the Nine of Cups. Uh huh. And that relationship, situation, ship mm -hmm. was also here. Cup, cup. Five of Coin was here. Mm -hmm. Final decision was also here. Judgment. Towards receiving an offer. Counsel, baby, when I say y'all got it going, a new beginning. Why was that new beginning? Why, why did a new beginning come? Burdens was laid down. Ten of staff, right? Resisting, right? That resistance towards someone single or someone being single. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to learn about that too. Someone coming in here solid. Solid. I'm solid. Strong now. I don't have time for no regret. They turning their back on that regret, baby. I don't have time for that. Uh-uh. Can't look back. Leah said, don't do it. Yeah, now nah. Leah said that the divines and spirits said, how teachable are you? That's what Leah said anyway. So it says the empress was here creating all this low vibration. Yeah, offering low vibration, offering the snake, challenging arguments. Yeah, coming in here causing havoc. Reaping havoc, right? Why? 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 Because the mental clarity of the queen of staff, you could be dealing with someone who had uh two two dealing with two people, multiple people, right? Who is the queen of staff? Someone who has been wounded by action, passion, drive. See that? Yeah, right? Towards what? Towards the happiness. Mm -hmm. Of that relationship, see that? That was lost. Yeah, see that? Five a coin, five a coin. There's no love in our relationship. 
it's all gone. See that? So now they tell us what is the mental clarity you need to see? What or who was holding back? See that? Four coin. I'm saying four coin. That was up here. They came out again. Boom. Four coin. Who was holding back? Right? Who was the distraction? Right? Queen of staff. A feminine energy that had been wounded by action, passion, drive. They didn't want to move. They wanted to be stubborn. They wanted to stay stuck. Why divine value or divine worth was surrounded in confusion. What was that divine worth, divine value surrounded in confusion? It confused the happiness. Yeah. It confused the happiness of what? The two of cups. The two of cups. That relationship, situation. Too many cups. Too many cups. What has been questioned? The ace of cups, right? Because if you take one of the cups and add it to the nine of cups, you get the ten of cups. And what do you have left? The ace of cups. Because the ten of cups is gonna be the, it's gonna be too full, it's gonna fall away. You're gonna have an ace of cups left. So what was in question? Love was in question, right? Because you got eleven of cups. And you can't have 11 of cups. You can only have 10 with one remainder. What was being given the back? What was left? The ace of cups, right? Loss. Mm. That law was being questioned, right? In a situation. All of this arguing. All of this fighting. All of this. All of that that you've been giving me. And see, the thing about it, what other signs need to understand about water signs. We go through a lot because... If you offer us low vibration, guess what we're going to give you back? The truth of that vibration 10 times harder, 10 times heavier. So when another sign comes in here and deals with a water sign, you got to ask yourself or they must ask themselves, am I really ready to deal with what I'm giving water sign? Because if I'm not giving water sign good and I'm giving water sign evil, I'm going to reap evil 10 times over. They don't know. They don't know, right? So they said a judgment or a decision had to be made, right? Towards who? Towards all that low vibration? Mm -hmm. Or towards no passion, no action, or no drive? That's who, right? Feminine energy, feminine energy. So in, in, in the calling, right, of that uh, final decision, right, what had to come in? Someone received, could have been counsel, receiving a new beginning, a new offer. But understand why you received your new beginning. Mm -hmm. Your little enemy, mm -hmm. which could have been, you know, the empress or the queen of staff or whoever you was, you know, in a relationship with. They kept saying, I hope counsel fall over that edge of that cliff. Hi, I'm, yeah, I'm right here. Uh, safe journeys. This is what they're saying. Safe journeys, safe travels. Fall over the cliff. Fall over the cliff. Fall, fall, fall. They don't want. They want to see you, you know, defeated, right? So when the new beginning comes in, what happens? Cancel lays down burdens, baby. Lay it down. What is right? What is the ten of staff? The ten of staff talks about being on a new journey. Mm -hmm. Solid and strong rock. Away from the nine of staff. On the other side is the nine of staff. Away from the ace of staff. Away from being a wounded warrior. See that? No, I'm not. New beginning. New beginning. I want my new beginning to come in. So when your new beginning came, comes in, what they tell you? Resistance was here towards you being single. Right? I don't want you to be, you know, with anybody else. I don't want you to leave me. We can work on it. See that? We can work on it. Work on what, though? What was lost? What was given the back? The relationship. See that? We can work on it. We can work on it. I don't want you to be by yourself. I don't want you to be by yourself. I don't want you to be by yourself. See that? Please don't leave me. But they tell us, mm -hmm, right, what happened? What was being held back? Laying down burdens, four coins, right? Held back. Here comes the four coins again, right? What was being held back? Laying down burdens, right? So I can go on a new journey. 
what has changed five a coin right what has changed the resistance see that right receiving a message right towards a new beginning a staff by the bird right over the low energy see the snake who was offering you low energy boom yes that same snake see y'all got to pay attention right so so now right you got your resistance you say i ain't worrying with that so what happens you turn into someone who is strong someone who was solid listen man i'm chilling i'm just you know enjoying all my abundance i don't have time for the regret about the two of cups what two of cups them same two of cups that was lost see that mm -hmm. see that Boom. same two of cups those same two of cups I don't have time for uh that. See that? I don't have time for none of that. I'm on a whole I'm in a whole new position. I'm feeling very abundant. I'm feeling very festive. I'm feeling very solid. Hmm. No worries on my end. That's canceling. No worries on my end. Oh, so out of all of that, what have you learned? Oh, I learned to see the beauty in all things. Never mind the risk. See that? Never mind the risk. Uh huh. No longer mentally stuck because you have seen what was being offered, right? Whether it be low energy, low vibration, mm -hmm. no love, no compassion, no movement, no power, right? What have you learned? Are you teachable? Do you get it yet, counselor? Do you see it? You either are going to, right, get it in your head now. You either going to sway towards the risk or you're going to sway towards the beauty. What will you choose? Who will you choose? Follow your spiritual connection. Follow your emotions. If you're still confused, Leah, I don't know. I'm talking to two different people. I don't know who to go with. Uh, go get a just get a personal reading, and somebody should be able to pick up on both of those people and tell you who's meant for you and who isn't. If you're not connected to your spiritual side, because they keep telling us over and over again, you're kind of like giving your back and all in your head. Look, I don't know. 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 Turning your back on your moon. You cannot do that water sign. And then the thing is, I'm going to tell you, when I say water signs have to go through a lot, we go through a lot. Because, you know, the moon rules us true indeed. But at the end of it all, at the end of it all, if you add too much heat to water, what happens? Water evaporates in the air. Now we go from being in our element of water to being in our heads. Logic. That's not where we belong. And look what you get. You get the resistance. See that? Swords. We're going to get our clarity from a higher perspective. And then we have the choice to uh, act towards the heartbreak or the recovery process. You cannot put water in the air. I'm sorry can't do it and even with the three of swords that heartbreak water rain down coming out of the air back to solid grounds we belong in the, on the ground in the water of the world in the land anybody who is causing you to uh stir these emotions they got another thing coming and if for the cross washers you got another thing coming when you when you're dealing with water signs we are going to show you the most deepest darkest risk of indecision you want to see you see that but at the same time we cool calm and collective in our mental regardless if we heat it or not because at the end of the day we have the strength uh-huh to go to door to spirit uh-huh because we are learning and we will learn and stand strong in the beauty of it all when it pertains to you or someone else get with it or get rolled over straight up this is life listen anybody who needs to talk to me i talk back all you have to do is email me hey leah i don't know uh, uh, uh. that's all you gotta do so listen counsel i feel for whoever uh you're leaving you know lesson learned how teachable are they
That's the question. I teach them a lot, eh? So you know what? It's all good because at the end of the day, counselors are going to turn out good because your spirit has your back, right? Just don't get in your own way, right? Sometimes you have to look at people with a cold eye view, but it's all good, though, because you don't want anyone who's going to stop your growth, right? Anyone who's going to tempt you or stir your emotions. Mm. So listen, I'm Leah. This is Enlightened Mystic Essentials. Work it out. Figure it out. Counsel. Good luck.